Welcome back, everybody. It's been a minute. Uh, uh, as you guys know, in the last video I uploaded, I said I got COVID. Alex was doing okay when I came in and shot that video, and then afterwards she went down for the count for like 12 days. So we're still getting over all of that. I'm feeling like 99%. I'm pretty good, but every so often I'll get winded. But this is also a brand new space. I've not fully moved into it yet, so the audio is probably pretty echoey. It'll uh, hopefully get better as we get more stuff in here, but we just got to paint it. I think it looks great. I'm so pumped for this space. I mean, look at the walls and, 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 <laughs> and windows. Guys, I have windows. I'm not in the middle of a warehouse anymore and it feels so good. I've got my own entrance. I have my own door. Um, there, there are some things about the space that are going to be different and I'm going to have to get used to. Like, there's a lot of noise outside. There's a train track like 50 feet that way, probably a little more than 50 feet, but uh, trains come by all the time. So there's going to be some growing pains here, but I'm so excited to get set up. This is one of two offices. I've got another one that's going to be mainly for editing and stuff. This is what you'll see most of the time in out here in the yard. But for now, let's talk about this. I almost forgot something. Ugh. This is Megan. She's actually going to be helping with the channel moving forward, shooting, editing. Oh, that did crack. <laughs> oh, that did oh. crack. <laughs> Uh, but you can find Megan on Instagram and other places at Hey It's Megan. So you're gonna be helping. Yeah, two G's. My parents hate me. Because your parents, I hate you too. Well, it's okay. add, add, adding to the growing list. Yeah. Uh, well, Megan is a longtime friend of mine. We actually started working at Best Buy around the same time. I think yeah. we got hired like the same week. I think we maybe. did. Yeah. I mean, I've been stuck with you ever since. You're, well, you're still also still at Best Buy. Yeah, I'm still so, stuck. Uh, but she's gonna help with the channel with editing, shooting. And other stuff. I, I just I've got to the point where I need help. I've got baby number two coming in like God, maybe tomorrow. I hope not. Oof. Like I want him to be here, but I'm not ready. But anyway, Megan is gonna be helping with the channel. Thank you, Megan. Of course. And I have this box and I don't really know what's inside it. I know it just came in. I know it's from Benchmade. That is all I know. Let's get inside the box. Where's Jeff? Hey Jeff. <laughs> there are people. <laughs> there are people at this place. I have People that I can talk to. I'm not That's so sad. in a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I love being in a space where there are people. Okay, let's get inside the box. Um, that's, again, all I know is that this is from Benchmade. And that that's really it. Oh, what the? What is that? More wear, less tear. Get up in here. What is that? I guess it's just a duffel. No, there's something in there, I think. Step 22. Oh, it's a bunch of Benchmade gear. It's a Benchmade hat. How do you guys like my hat? Art company. You guys should check them out. Mark's a good dude. But also, another hat. I go through hats very, very fast. You do. Especially with that haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I finally cut my hair. I got so fed up with the long hair. Benchmade hoodie, that feels nice. Feel that. It's like Ooh, that's a soft thick. one. That's thick and soft. Again, is that what she said? <laughs> I wasn't okay. gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it, but okay. Pelican Air, yours for life. Hell yeah! Look, it's got a best MEDC logo on there. Look at that. I was just asking my friend about Pelican Airs because he's a videographer. So. Uh oh, we got a we got a padlock. <laughs> Case lid must open to remove card holder. What Can you even this? focus that close? Yeah. Case lid must be open to remove card holder. What? Um, oh, wait, wait. I just got a text. The code. Okay. I have the code. Zero. One. I got fat fingers. <laughs> One. Two. Oh shit. This is some shaggy oh. stuff. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know what this. Okay, anyway. Should I turn it? I'll turn it around. I genuinely do not know what's inside here. Oh shit. Taylor, hope you and the family are feeling better these days. That must have been an incredibly challenging month. On the positive side of things, we can't wait to see what is in store for the new space and for Flynn to be joining the family. How do they know, how do they know his name? Did I tell them? 
Anyway, yeah. it's that time of year where we would normally be out at SHOT Show where we typically announce a big set of new knife models. Since we can't show them off in person this year, we wanted to let you be one of the first people in the world to have hands on with a few of them. In this case, you will find a bug out mini model number 55 or 533BK-2, a bug out 535-3, mini Adamus uh, 273GY-1, and a 945 mini Osborne. Ooh, a mini. Okay, cool. Uh, there are quite a few other models being released for 2021. Check out our YouTube channel for the full rundown. We thought these would be the most interesting to you. In short, we're stoked to hear what you think of the sampling. The 533BK to bug out mini now brings CF Elite handles or carbon fiber, carbon fiber reinforced nylon polymer. Meanwhile, the 535 bug out three features CPM S90V blade steel and gorgeous woven carbon fiber. You'll quickly notice the Adamas family is quite the opposite to the bug out family, but it is still EDCable with CPM crewwear steel. You guys are gonna like crewwear. G10 handles and full liners. This is the new, or this new generation cuts weight from the previous iteration, but retains all the strength the family is known for. And finally, the 945 Mini Osborne is everything the classic is known for. Put them through their paces, and we think you'll love having them in your pocket. The Benchmade family. Well, this is sweet. <laughs> like a an admission a confession i've never held a bug out mini ever none of them they are quite small but that's a good size i like that so this is the bug out mini the difference being let's see s90 v no this is s30 v that's that's the full bug out the bug out mini has the cf elite handles uh and then the, this one, this bug out has S90V with woven carbon fiber. Dude, this feels, wow, that feels 10 times sturdier than the, the original bug out. Wow, that feels really nice. No blade play. I like those little blue accents. I'm not normally a huge blue fan, but I mean, that is, that is the bench made blue, right? A mini Osborne too. That is a really small Osborne, but it, it scales really well. I uh, was actually looking at possibly grabbing another Osborne recently, but glad I didn't because now I have a mini. It's really nice. I've been teetering back and forth for like the last two years between big and small knives and I never really know where to land. I like both. Then we have the Adamas. I've never held one of these. This is definitely a different beast. This is hardcore, this is heavy. This has CPM crew wear with a, a blade coating. It's textured, it's like a, I don't know, does it say anything about the coating? No, it doesn't. But that's good because crew wear is a tool steel so it will rust. So, wow, that's much heavier. But that is a tank. That Adamus is a tank. That's really cool, thank you Benchmade. Uh, I'll be glad to carry some of these. I've, I've actually wanted to try a mini bug out I didn't buy one because I thought maybe it was a little too small because the original bug out was actually, you know, borderline too small for a lot of people. But this one it actually translates well to a smaller size. And it's super lightweight. Wow. And I think my favorite might actually be the mini Osborne. I've always loved the Osborne. So having one in a mini size is really neat. Well, there you have it. These are some of the new uh, Benchmade knives coming out. In 2021, since there is no shot show this year, maybe not even a blade show, it's good to get some hands on with them. I was hoping to go some trade shows last year, hoping to go this year, and <laughs> looks like that's not going to happen. But again, we've got a uh, 945 Mini Osborne. We have a new bug out with S90V steel 
and that is the 535-3 with the carbon fiber and blue accents. There is a new mini bug out, that is the 533-BK-2, which has the new CF Elite scales, and then the Adamas, this is a 273-GY-1 mini Adamas in CPM crew wear. So really cool. That is actually really, really neat. Great presentation too. It's a really cool case. Cool to have my logo on it. Sick, I think uh, I might actually end up using this, getting the foam cutouts and using this as like a camera, camera pelican, or at this point, the way my life is going up. Oh wait, wait oh snap. There's stuff underneath. Oh snap, I'm glad I looked. <laughs> We've got some blue lube, which is lube from Benchmade. Not sure what this is. Blue box toolkit. Some Torx and an extension with a bit driver in the handle or the pivot there. Huh, glad I looked. I was about to just discard all this. <laughs> no, what I was saying is that the, uh, the Pelican Air work really, really well for camera kits, like cases for traveling and stuff with cameras. Not that I'm gonna be traveling anytime soon, but that is really neat. Really great presentation. And uh, probably just some more information on on these knives here. But uh, like that paper said, check out their YouTube channel and they'll have the full rundown on all of the new knives. Because they did say that these aren't all the new ones. These are only a small sampling of the new knives. So uh, as far as I go and the channel goes, uh, we'll be back in full swing very soon. I'm gonna get this office finished. I, I gotta get the next office painted. I gotta get everything moved over. And then probably about the time I get all of that done, or if not before, uh, my son will be born. So crazy times for sure, but uh, we'll be back in full swing soon. And thankfully we don't have Megan helping behind and uh, behind the scenes as well with editing. So hopefully we'll be a well-oiled machine in the next like month or two, that'd be great. So thanks for bearing with me and sticking with me for this long and through all this nonsense. Um, stay safe, don't get COVID, it sucks. Mm -hmm. And thanks again, Benchmade. Thank you a lot. This is really cool. And uh, I think I think I'm gonna carry this one. Yeah, I'm gonna let you carry one too. You. Me? Yeah, you don't have a knife. No, I don't. All right, I'm gonna give you the, the bug out mini. Ooh. Okay. You carry that one around. Tell me what you think. We're gonna get Megan into knives. She's not really into knives, but she said she's she finds them interesting, but she doesn't. We're gonna have to learn her some stuff about mm -hmm. this EDC world. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, just follow around the web if you haven't already. You want to support what I'm doing here. There's links down below, patreon.com slash bestmdc, and then there's Carry Commission. Uh, 2021, I'm putting a lot of effort into Carry Commission. I really want to get it off the ground. It's never really gotten off the ground. So uh, go there, check that out, and uh, there will be more product there soon enough, I hope. But until next time, carry on.